G'day, I'm Jacob and this is Sam and we're from Make Science Fun. And we've had a request from Boris Kavuchuk to make a simple direct current motor. And so I've been around the house looking for bits and pieces because I don't want to go out to the shops and buy the stuff. I've got some Lego and a nine volt battery and a little wire terminal, a hot glue gun and a hard drive from a computer. You can use magnets from other places but that's what we're going to use. Let's build the spinning motor. All right, now that this thing's built, oh, what is absolutely vital is that it's symmetrical, it doesn't wobble, and that it spins freely before you do anything else. Next thing, we need some stuff out of here. Ah. Oh, look at that, Sam. Hey, that's the hard drive. Woo. Hey, can you see your face? Mm -mm. Oh, what a handsome young man you are, Sam. <laughs> no, put your tongue on that. You. No, 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 no. Yeah. What we need to do is just lever that up and look. Oh, look what we've got there. What do you think that is, Sam? I don't know. Put it near the metal. These screws. A magnet. A magnet. A magnet. 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 Good boy. So you need two magnets. You need this copper wire. The copper wire that we're going to use is enameled. It's got a coating on it. It's got a plastic coating on it. So from the ends, you have to remove that plastic just by using a match, burning it off. So I'll unwind the wire. Just going to unwind it onto the Lego block. Go around and around and around like so. Okay, so I'm getting there. You have to keep going in the one direction. Around and around and around. It's my rotor right there. All right, so it's spinning. Now to add the magnetic field. You have to put them on either side of the motor so that they attract each other. That's one. Put the magnets into place. Now it's time to put the brushes on. And they just go on either side. One, one brush has to touch that wire there, one side of the coil and the other brush has to touch that wire there, the other side of the coil. It's probably ready to go. A little bit of an adjustment and a very simple motor. Give it a little bit of a push. <laughs> what do you think? How can I stop it? A simple electric motor made from Lego and an old computer hard drive. 